Alright folks, my name is Frayne and today I'm going to do an analysis video. Um, I've not done one of these for quite a while actually, but this game was particularly late at night. I think it was uh, approaching 3 in the morning, maybe even later than that. So I wasn't overly talkative while I was recording it. Uh, meaning there's not really a lot of live commentary to go with. So we're, uh, yeah, we're going to go over it, talk about what I did wrong, what I did right. We're uh, cut in here already about a minute or two into the battle and as you can see we are on American Desert in battle configuration. I'm using a 5.3 American lineup, not a lot in it, it's just the M4A276, the M4A176 and the M19 to round it out. Now I'm flanking around towards the B point, it's very open, not something I actually want to sit on and try and cap. The enemy has already pushed onto the A point and just started decapping that. When I see a panther crossing in the distance, take a speculative shot and that angle was really bad but that means he's now very aware that I'm here he's already come back so just fire on the move run for cover and then we'll tuck around the corner and see if we can find something else which we do there's another panther and a tiger there so knock out the tiger I've started going for the uh, the right hand side as I look at it lately rather than the center of the tank I'm not entirely sure if it's a better shot or not, it's just as likely to kill the driver and gunner, which are obviously the important crew. Less likely to kill the other three members of crew, but there is an ammo rack stored there, so there's also a good chance of that going off. The panthers slipped away, not exactly where he went, but that first panther of course will also be likely to come over here looking for me. He knows I'm over here, I've already tried to shoot him. You see someone just wrote in chat, M4A2 where? So they're obviously communicating about the fact that I'm out here. Um, I'm going to stay in cover as best I can. Keep my camera looking around the corner, see if I can spot anything else driving across. But I saw that little red warning arrow on the side of the screen, and there's the panther. So get his breach with the first shot. Knock over a tree, which is a bit annoying. But managed to finish him off with a, a bit of a guess speculative shot there through the the fallen tree right into his side it's kill number two so I'm getting a little more peaky than I should here really I'm trying to see if I can find that other panther but that does mean in the meantime I'm driving outside on there's plenty of space there that someone could shoot me that wouldn't be in my camera angle certainly wouldn't be where my eyes are focused on so there's a good chance I could have been shot in the side so instead we'll back off we'll adjust we've got two teammates pushed right up towards this spawn, they're easily going to be close enough to be marked on the map, so most enemies up here are going to be headed for them. So I'm just going to keep looking through this gap, see if I can pick off anything that happens to be crossing. There goes a the tiger. Shot a little late, instead of going for the crew and the ammo, I ended up hitting towards the engine. Not that it managed to break, of course. And then along comes a second tiger. That time I deliberately shot for the engine, and all the spalling went towards the front of the tank and just got the turret crew, so we're really struggling with engine damage right now. But thankfully he turned himself towards me and I managed to get the kill shot. Not sure where the other tiger's gone though. I see something there, but that's a Jagdpanzer 470, which it is possible to pen them from the front, but it's a very difficult shot, not something I want to take when they're actually aware of me. And those things had been giving me so much trouble throughout the entire day, every other game, there was a Jagdpanzer 470 just staring me down and I was just tired of dealing with them so turning around and running off taking out the Tiger on the way past and I'm just gonna reposition not hugely, I'm still in the area but far enough that I'm not exactly where they were and maybe I can get a side shot if they try and come back for me which is what that tiger is doing now. That's the one that I took the, oh sorry, damaged the engine on. Foolish shot there. I, at the time, thought I might hit his side. I thought he was driving past. Obviously fired that way too early and just hit his extremely angled front plate. But that's completely drawn his attention to me. He's going to come over here. And he's gonna cause me a lot of problems. There's also, an Italian Firefly in the area. And I'm really rapidly starting to get into a problem here. Can't see the Firefly due to all the little walls. Um, they've recently removed them all from Italy, unfortunately not from American Desert. 
We've got the Panzer 470 coming up behind us. And there's the Tiger. Although he doesn't appear to have realised where I am. This really shows what a difference a single shot can make. I completely scuffed that shot and only got his engine, but that still would have been something I could have dealt with. I could have outrun his turret, driven around behind him, and finished him off uh, through the side while the Yagpans are trying to chase me around the house. But because I scuffed the shot on the Firefly a few moments before, there was still a third person there, just making it a little too much to try and deal with. There's also the fact that that Tiger could have been dealt with earlier had I uh, you know, got a shot on his side the first time he crossed instead of hitting towards the engine or simply in the case of bad luck had the engine actually taken damage properly instead of just getting the fuel but we're back now in the M4A1 I've headed back up a bit of a longer route towards my uh, my original position we've come in behind that firefly taken him out I specifically took a longer route to make sure there was less chance of me running into the three of them together that's actually a different Jagdpanzer, that's the, the A variant. And that's the Tiger as well. So we've taken out two of the three people that we ran into uh, up around the B cap. And we've got a, a third, different enemy, but uh, a third enemy in the process. But the enemy is once again back on A and my team seems to be funneling itself in there to try and stop them. They've got a lot of Tigers and Panthers still around. Yeah. Bigger tanks than we have, very dangerous, and I would rather go in and try and reduce the uh, the flow of death that is coming from my teammates. I've seen plenty of tracers around here. There's the whirlwind. So I would knock him out. Turn to the side and see a tiger crossing the road. He managed to drive himself into a wall, and again, just no engine damage. We're just not getting it. And again, I mean, the, the first shot, yeah, the fuel and the radiator are in the way, but the second shot, I deliberately aimed straight into the engine, and it still didn't break. We just could not get those engines to break this game. It was not being reliable. But we've now got him on a second fire. There's a Panzer IV come in to try and cover him. He seems to have a bit of a slow reaction there. I probably should have died in that instance. Regular Jagdpanzer, much easier to deal with again. Probably should have died there. There's always a bit of luck to uh, to every good game, I think. No game is 100%, uh, you know, player designed or, or created. There is always going to be some luck. Now I've got a panther coming down the road. Quick snap into the corner of his turret. Unfortunately, not getting the breach. Now he's only got the two whole crew left. I can't remember if the 76 can still go through the lower plate, but. Choosing to go for that little bit under the mantlet. Didn't quite get the damage I was hoping for. It didn't blow back and take out the driver or the machine gunner. So he's still alive. Still in need of repair, but obviously still a threat as well. So slight re-angling. Trying to make sure I keep cover on every angle possible, although not always with success. The panther clearly thinks I've driven off. He's turned to, uh, to try and make a retreat. So another shot, again, a little far back, but it got the job done. And that seemed to be a, quite the trend for me this game. That is a good chunk of enemy presence around the cap cleared. The cap should be safe and my team is starting to push in to try and retake it. With that in mind, I started heading back up to the B point. Uh, we'll skip ahead a little bit, cut out the travelling time. And while I've been driving back up here, everyone who was going over to try and recap the A point has died. So, a bit of artillery, just try and hope, you know, maybe there's something light armoured, maybe I get a lucky strike. We've got three teammates in the air, not a lot on the ground, and I'm just coming up to try and see if I can cut off reinforcements again. The position, it works well, I got a fair few kills here earlier on, and maybe see if I can start a decap on their point as well. So just creep forwards, Yak Panzer 4 around the corner. Now, my initial plan was to go around behind him and try to get a shot on his back, but ran over that fire hydrant, which I'm pretty sure is what gave me away. As he started twitching then, he obviously heard something. So instead, started side scraping back with the intent of trying to get a shot on his barrel. He obviously saw my plan, backed up, and tried to go for it himself, but 
in doing so he exposed the, uh, the corner of his tank there and I was able to get a shot. Now if I hadn't killed him with that shot I could have at least rushed forwards. Him being a casemate he'd have to drive up to the corner, turn at full 90 degrees by which time I probably would have been reloaded. Now that's the Jagdpanzer IV that I had uh, issues with earlier. He's still tucked in around their spawn, he's very clearly playing point guardian here. There's a very low chance that I'm going to be able to get him to, to leave that position. But they are back on our capture point again so it's time to head back and again skip the travelling time. Here we are at the A point. They very almost capped it. We're getting really low on tanks. I think we're actually neck and neck on points at this stage and um, on, on the tickets but they are ahead of us obviously in cap it's quite close to victory so i need to get in here block it first we go for the disabling shot on the tiger this hetzer i'm um, not entirely sure what he was doing but we'll take him out quickly just before he wakes up the tiger's got no turret drive so we can quite comfortably outrun him bit of packet loss at six percent a um, bit of a, a delay on that shot there, but obviously still managed to do the job. And, you know, we're still not capping. It's going down, but that's only because we're blocking it. So there's still something else on the cap. Obviously made even more obvious by the fact that he was uh, shooting at my teammate, but that's the KV-1 down and the cap clear. Already a new target, though. I wasn't entirely sure what it was. But turning my side on it once I found out it was an AA was rather stupid. Even if it gave me the you know the positional shift to get out of his uh, his line of fire there, it was still a poor move. Finished him off with the 50 kills, much better than expending an extra shell. I'm down to only five now, and of course we don't own our cap. Now I could go sit on it, help recap it, help speed it up so I can get more ammo, but. I don't really want to be a sitting duck. Um, the enemy knows exactly where we are because we're on that cab. They're all going to be coming this way. So I'm going to take up a, a crossfire position. Hope that I can shoot anything coming back. There is an engine behind me. Initially started trying to turn the tank, but I decided actually this turret's fast enough. I should be able to get it around. And it was already far enough around that if I had to, I could give the hull that extra little twist at the end. I just didn't want to give myself away with the extra engine revving. He clearly already heard me though as he started turning straight towards me as he came round. But that is finally that little Panzer 470 gone. So tired of those over this session. They were the absolute bane of every battle I played. We're down to four ammo can't afford to be taking more than one shot to kill anything. Right now my goal is just purely stop them getting back to that capture point so that hopefully our team can take it and I can get some more ammo that way. Unfortunately he was strafed to death by a plane. But I've spotted a little set of tracks and an aerial over here. There goes another teammate. Got it. And there, uh, yeah, things are starting to get a little overly tense for my liking. It's going well, but we still have exactly the same tickets, 2,000 apiece. So every kill counts right now. The time is starting to run a bit low. We really can't afford any more deaths. We don't want to end up losing by, you know, 100 tickets. That would be frustrating. So I'm just trying to sit, listen, see if I can uh, lend my final three ammunition to help out my teammates. American Desert is far from one of my favourite maps. In fact, I uh, I have it on the dislike list at the moment. There are a good few Overwatch positions over here, though, around the. So the uh, exit from the enemy spawn towards the A cap. I don't like the battle configuration. There's a you know, rather straight route towards the A cap, and the A cap has a lot more cover on it than the B cap. I don't think it's particularly well balanced. But I'm trying to make the best of a, a bad situation here. Two ammo left. And a bomb. So, kill streak over. That's... Uh, 
That's me down to my third spawn. I had the option to bring the P-47, but I'm not a pilot. Um, I figured it would be pretty useless. So instead, M19, out we come. Let's see if I can get rid of some of those damn aircraft. Now in a sense, it may not actually be the best idea to kill them. If they've got no ordnance and they don't have ground belts, or depending on what vehicles we've got on the ground, the aircraft could actually be dead weight for them. They're very dangerous to myself, of course. I'm open-topped. They could just come in and strafe me, and then that's another hundred tickets lost. But if they don't have ordnance, then the heavy tanks, medium tanks, etc. on our team are going to be quite likely to be immune to the aircraft. So, it's sort of a, a bit of a, a choice, but it has given us the ticket advantage. Obviously, they're me telling the teammate, sir, yeah. Don't, don't try and go for B. We don't need it to win. We're getting really close to the end of the timer. Just make sure they don't take the cap and try and stay alive. This late in the game, you know, you've really got to keep an eye on that timer. This late in the game, you don't need the cap. Unless you're really far behind on tickets, just ignore the cap. Protect yours. Stay alive. It may not be the most exciting thing to do, but it's what's going to win you the game. Our M24 is obviously spamming smoke. Again, it's uh, it's a bit of a choice. Smoke will obviously make him less likely to get picked off, but it also means there's a potential for something to creep up on him and him not be able to see it until the last second. So I'm going to sit off to the side, find some of the only solid cover remaining. Now all these houses have been knocked down. Just reloading back to the HE. Now I've got a few teammates around. The AP belt shouldn't be quite as necessary. Um, I'm less likely to need to, uh, to do some self-defense on the ground. So back to HE. Just trying to keep my eye uh, almost entirely focused on that left side of the screen. The exit to their spawn that comes down the tracks. Just make sure there's nothing trying to get back here. Achilles just died to the Puma, so... That's a light target. Back to the AP, ready and anticipating him to be charging in here any second now and try and stop this cap. I do really wish our team would have stopped trying to throw themselves at that B point, but some people uh, are always going to always going to go for these things. Plus, not everyone reads chat. I mean, a lot of the time, I don't read chat myself. The See the plane coming in there. No sign of the Puma, so took myself in, just so I'm slightly less open to that angle. We'll reload to HE. And uh, let's try and deal with that plane. I am not a big fan of AA. I don't find it particularly interesting or exciting to play at all. So I'm quite surprised I actually got that hit. Um, usually, as soon as the first tracers start flying, the, uh, the enemy aircraft just start zipping in and out, diving around, t twisting, turning, and I'm never going to stand a chance to them, but this guy flew in quite the straight line. So that's a bit of revenge. Uh, that's also the, the Jagdpanzer 470 who gave me problem all game, so I was quite pleased with getting rid of him. That gives us a, another couple of kills for the, the ticket lead. We just need everyone to stay alive. And the best way to stay alive, of course, safety in numbers. So double check it's clear. And let's go regroup with the rest of the team. I do tend to be quite a bit of a, a lone wolf player, I find, you know, sitting out on my own, doesn't always work out. If the enemy come ones and twos, it's not too bad. But if they start showing up in number, I, it, it really doesn't work out. But I do tend to play on my own. That's 
It's not wrong, it's it's not right. But it can work out quite negatively. Now here's the Puma. I think he's noticed that he can't win by cap, so he's just trying to flank him behind us and pick off kills where he can. Good job I turned up late to the party, really. Otherwise, I would have probably been the last guy in the line and the one getting picked off, and he would have been able to kill me very quickly. Just quick machine gun through the crew. But there we are. Victory uh, by timeout, but victory, 23 kills. I was at a really really tense game, especially late at night when I wasn't fully focused. But 161,000 lions, not bad for having no premium tanks in there. A good overall game, nice and tense, great result for, for me personally, and those really are the best type of games. Right down to the wire, nice and tense all the way. We did finish with a 500 point ticket lead at the end, but it got very close for a very long time. There was some real work had to be put in, and it never felt like it was a complete one-sided battle. But that's it for today, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.